Good evening, universe. And we're back. By the way, this is Ivory Daniels, and if you like what I have to say, you can subscribe to Ivory Daniels, my channel for YouTube. And uh, today's writing is uh, pretty interesting. It's actually called Another Position. One moment while I proofread it. Okay, another position. Broken wired fence and a black bird carries a stick home to build a nest. Dogs barking in the distance. <clears throat> Excuse me. White painted fence could use a couple coats of paint. The day ends and the sun drops into the sea. The moon shows up in boasting and bragging that I'm the new skylight. I will shine and show you your path. It's not rocket science. The flower called Hell's Bells sways in the wind behind the rider. One of the many flowers that could have you fucked up, hallucinating, stagnating, and debating. Is this real or fake? Now, the flower called Hell's Bells, which is actually behind me. Move you over here. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that flower out the window there it's pretty much in every yard place in San Diego you might have it you won't even realize that this flower right here is a natural hallucinogenic this flower is which is actually let's see right there so it'd be right there in the corner at the edge, at the end of the white fence. But needless to say, this flower is called Hell's Bells because when you uh, brew the petals of that flower, it would cause you to hallucinate in ways that you couldn't even imagine. So the flower named Hell's Bells, it's you're hallucinating about things that you would normally see in hell demons, things like that, monsters, things that come with that, but they're growing everywhere. It's interesting that it's a natural hallucinogenic, and then besides, uh, there's other plants on earth that also cause you hallucinate. Ginseng root is one of them. Um, what is the other one? Besides peyote, but that's something that's found. But, um, one moment, we'll wait for these people to pass. Hey, all right. <laughs> we'll wait for these people to pass. But, that's what's interesting about that specific flower. Now, to the other writing. <clears throat> One moment. Okay. It's called New Printer Top Great Table. It's stable. As of now, pink clouds and beat up boots. Lead light wouldn't catch me without one. Brand new. Close the door to you. Found by green grass and brake pads and sandpaper. Would have thought you would have made more sense. Stop. Can't help but think about the smell of roses on my marriage day. Fuck, who's to say it's yours? Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. For a moment I thought I was here with you. Yeah, you thought wrong. Brown fence, piggyback off my mama's crack. And you ask what's wrong with that? Jam-packed. And Again, written by Ivory Franklin Daniels. And if you like what I have to say, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and 
at Ivory Daniels. There's no need to have an AKA. You notice that your AKA is mainly for who you were back in the day because back in the day you needed an AKA. You couldn't really like give up your real name because you're worried about somebody throwing you under the bus somewhere down the line. I was kicking it with this guy and so you never wanted to give your real name, your government name. We'll say <laughs> your government name. <laughs> so you would always give an alias. So who knows who that person is? But I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm not fucking up. So I don't mind. I don't care. Because either, it's either you saw me or you didn't. I'm not a person that I guess... You could say, well, I think I saw that person, but I'm not sure if it was him. It's actually, I got a lot of positive identification marks on me, and not to mention, it's really, it's either you saw me or you didn't. I'm not a person that can just pass unnoticed. It'd be nice to believe that at times, but it's not going to ever happen like that again, <laughs> which is a good thing. Do you want to pass unnoticed? Do you want to, like, exist as a ghost? When people walk by you, they just see you as a light post. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even see you, which is happening anyway. People do that anyway to all kinds of people, every day, all day. You know, they might even take only what's on the outside and use that and just run with it. But Somewhere along the line, I'm pretty sure they've even said themselves to someone else, or if not a child, it's on. It's what's on the inside that counts. If that is the truth, why isn't that being used? Why would you take my clothes and judge me by them? It's a good question. These are only questions you can only ask yourself from within, because your outlook on other people are more than likely your outlook on yourself. Why you don't like this is probably it's in yourself. And sometimes when it's not in yourself, you probably just don't like that type of characteristic traits of an asshole, so you don't want to go near those people that carry those traits. But it's interesting that we say what's on the inside counts. I say that, and I actually go by that. Because the outside is could be just a facade. Uh, facade, you know, you put up a border so that when people come close, if they only take what's on your outside, they'll really never know you, which is a good thing in your aspect, because it saves you from being hurt later on, but then again, if you constantly live your life worried about what the next person is going to think about you, then you're not even living anymore. You're living up to their expectation. Like wearing shoes that you know don't fit you, but because your friend said they look good and you should wear them, you're wearing them. You're wearing them for them, not for yourself. You know you do, your feet don't fit in. You know that your feet hurt when you wear them. But because they said they look good and you should wear them, you're not wearing them for yourself. You're wearing them for them. When you go out to get dressed, when you get dressed up too, what do you get dressed up for? Is it for yourself, to make yourself feel good? I like the way I look. I don't care about what you're worried about. You didn't even add a cent to me buying these clothes. <laughs> Constructive criticism. Destructive criticism. I appreciate your time and your uh, energy that anybody spends on me. For nobody's really entitled to any amount of space. So if I ever cross you and if I say excuse me, well, just remember my face. If not, then needless to say, I must have lost my way that day. Which doesn't really happen very much because I'm on top of it all the time. It's a constant job to stay on top of yourself. Especially if you have like drug issues or any type of desires or... Things that are not good for you, which it doesn't necessarily have to be drugs, it could be sex, it could be eating, it could be anything, sleeping, sitting, 
you can be an asshole for too long, it, you know, it eats at you. It's a constant job to stay on yourself, constantly on top of that, like, and then always have to go back to, you have to be better than me. The me is a fuck up. But to be better than me, it's not to fuck up. So I tell myself, no, nah, you have to be better than me. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You know what I mean? Damn. You don't really got to do that. You got to be better than me. And the me is a fuck up sometimes. Sometimes he's not. But when the me is getting out of control, yeah, you got to be better than me. So, you know, got to be better than that. Better than the fuck up that you're used to being. And the me makes poor decisions sometimes. Poor choices. So to be better than that poor choice making character, it'd be better to be better than me. <laughs> but needless to say, enjoy the rest of your evening, the rest of your day. And again, if you like what I have to say, you can subscribe to Ivory Daniels. For YouTube and enjoy the rest. Peace.